Well, good morning. Welcome to lesson nine of unit two. Today we're going to be using images. Last time we learned about um, copyright, and now we're going to actually practice some things, and we're going to add images to our actual website. It's really exciting stuff. Now, today's question of the day, how can we add images to our websites while making sure we respect everyone's rights? It's a really a valid question. How can we respect the rights of the people who took the pictures that we're going to add? Now, if we add our own pictures, we still got to put our own um, our own copyright. Uh, law stuff in there we've got to attribute it to ourselves otherwise people can just use whatever they want and turn it into mush and so forth but the new code we're going to be using is img img now this does have the prospect to be one of the harder things that you do but if you follow the directions copy things exactly then you'll be just fine. Okay, I'm gonna click continue and move on. So here, a dog and cat web page has been started for you. The dog image has already been added to the web below, uh, below the web page. <coughs> Look at the code that made the dog appear. Okay, inspector dog. This is the code right here. IMG, remember that was our new code today, SRC equals, quote, dog.jpg, unquote, alt equals dog jumping. Now, I'm going to break this down for you. All picture codes start with IMG, space. The source is dog.jpg, JPG, right here. This is the name of the picture right here. This is where it comes from, dog.jpg. It's in quotes. The alternate equals dog jumping. Why? Because the dog is jumping. So they, name, they said it describes dog jumping. What they do is they may is they. What we got to do is make sure that we have a description of the picture so that people understand if their internet is terrible or there's a different um, bug in the code that they know, oh, there's a picture of a dog jumping where this is supposed to be, okay? And that will, so now look, it says dog jumping instead of having a picture of the dog jumping because there's a bug in the code. All right. So remember, the dog.jpg goes right here. It comes from right here. Okay? So we made the code. We looked at the code where the dog image appears. Use an image tag to add the cat JPEG image to the page below. So remember... This is all based on, we got to look for various um, patterns in what we're doing. Okay, the pattern is we got dogs versus cats, dogs, a picture of a dog. And then look at that, we have Wikipedia Commons OGL. Very good. Okay, so then we have cats. Let's follow the pattern. Cats, oh, there's nothing underneath cats. So let's go here, press enter. How do we do this? Less than IMG space SRC. I'm just copying what's right here. Okay, equals Okay, let's look at the cat. The cat JPEG is right here. Cat dot JPEG. Not sure why they called it that, but cat 
Peg. Quotes. Close. Now I'm going to press enter. A L. A L T. Equals. Let's take a look at that picture. Cat. Cat. Close up. I'm just going to call it cat. Cat face. Cat face. Unquote. Now remember, I want to keep it exactly the same. And then greater than, enter. Now let's see if my cat appeared. It did. Okay. So isn't that nice? Does it? Okay, we did the do this. Use an image to add the cat. We got it. Okay, so now we added our image tag. We don't have to put in um, attributions yet. Okay, let's go to finish. All right, so now add information about where the image came from. This image was found at Pixabay and was uploaded by user Alexis Photos who use a free for commercial use and no attribution required license. So underneath, we got to give paragraph. I'm going to copy what I see up here. Okay, I'm not going to use Kirk Corporal Ian Holding. I'm going to use Alexis Photos. Alexis Photos. Pixabay OGL Okay, so now we have right here just like the corporal Ian holding Very good, right? Okay, that was all the we had on the do this. Add information about where the image came from. Okay, I'm gonna click finish. Details matter. So the SRC attribute needs to point to the exact file name of the image you use. That means you need to pay attention to spelling, capitalization, and file extension. Each of the three images on the page is broken because of improper SRC attribute. So you need to fix these. Fix each of the image tags. Okay. So look through these and fix them. What's wrong with got red? What's wrong with that one? Remember, look over here. Okay, I'll give you an example. Red SRC, red JPEG, red sky. Oh, oh, they forgot the underscore. So I'm going to put an underscore in there. I'm going to refresh and save. Hmm. Red. Oh, the image name. It's just called red JPEG. Red underscore SKY, there's our red sky. Okay. All right, and you fix the other two. Look, look real hard. Okay. There are two more problems because these pictures haven't shown up. You need to fix those too. All right, look at the spelling. Look at the 
all of the file name, make sure that they're set. I'm going to move on. You can look through those. Go ahead and pause it. Uh, pause the videos till you find them and then move on. Finish. I'm going to click finish and move on. Okay. So now your job is to add the amphibians have all the information about the pictures and so do this for each image fix the name according to the following rules avoid special characters make sure that the name uh, has a specific meaning that helps you know what the image is so you might put in Kenny Bush frog you might have frog on a quarter you might have tree frog on a leaf salamander on a rock axolotl underwater however you want to do that and then you're going to be adding each of the bits of information on to the side so you're going to be doing some work here all right. Here you're back to the dogs and cats. Now you're going to learn how to add an image. So click on add image. You're going to find an image you're allowed to use and upload it to this project. Make sure the file name follows your naming rules. Use the image tag to display the image in your website. Make sure to add an alt attribute. Add the attribution information below the image. Okay, just like you have here, all the attribute. You're gonna be adding an image to your file over here by clicking add an image and you're gonna be uploading a new one. Go to upload file. You're gonna give it attribution and you're gonna code it in here uh, beforehand. Okay, now you can choose a few activities here. Maybe you choose all of them, maybe you just choose two, but uh, you should, you're should. you expected to do at least a couple in here to strengthen your new skills. Do, 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 do. Okay, look, we have a purple check mark. This is to show you that you have, um, this is gonna be assessed. Add an image to the page. Make sure you follow the copyright naming and good coding styles. Okay. So, all about me, cool pictures. You're going to add, do this. Add an image, follow the copyright naming and good style. It's all about adding an image, following the copyright. Then you can choose a couple that you want to do yourself. And after you finish one or two or all four of these, um, you can go back and check your skill building. Um, you can see that here's the code for the green and the blue. If you need to go look at that and figure out what was wrong. And if you want to move on to or go back and take a look at your um, Favorite amphibians, here are how two of them look. My favorite amphibians, here's the code therefore, or thereof. And all I did up here was um, look at the attribution. I put that in a paragraph underneath um, each of the images and That's what you can do. It turned out just fine. As you can see, all I did was copy this into a paragraph, put in the um, image name, and then for the alternative, I put Amwensis on a quarter. Okay, and then that's the canny right here. I just put that as canny. So there you have it. Lesson 9 of Unit 2.
uh, computer science discoveries using images. Make sure you use your images carefully and safely and put as few restrictions on those as possible. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you next time.